Hey guys, and welcome back to the Ironborn lands of the Harlor family. Lord Reaver Torwald Harlor, the second of course, has just returned, or he is returning, from a, a very, shall we say, profitable adventure in the Arbor. We did capture a beautiful new concubine, or should I say a assault wife, of course, um, to add to my big, no, should we say, starting collection. She's the first, hopefully, of many concubines. Only 20 years old, and we've taught the Arbor a valuable lesson that hopefully they will learn from. Obviously, you know, I did raid them first, but hopefully we taught them a valuable lesson not to mess with the Reaper of Harlor. I mean, look at that sig Look at the sigil. Look at that. The scythe and everything. It, it just screams to you death, doesn't it? It just screams death, and that's what Torwald is like. He's a cruel man. He doesn't let things slip through his fingers. And um, I was thinking about last time what to do with the Queen of the Arbor. You know, taking as a salt wife could be useful, obviously, and getting her pregnant. She's 38. There's a chance in seven years. But, you know, she's still, you know, quite old. It's unlikely she might have kids. And maybe taken as a salt wife, I assume, would make her lose her position. And her daughter would take over, who currently is the wife of the King of the Rock. But if we don't take her, she has a chance of a baby. And if she has a son, that keeps them separate, hopefully. So that was kind of my thinking. But, you know, a lot of people are saying I should take her as a salt wife. And, you know, I, I, I do think Torwald would probably do that. He's a cruel, ambitious man. Loves the Drowned God. He knows this will please the gods. So we're going to take her as a salt wife. I think it does make sense for him. Uh, her opinion of me will go down. I mean, not not really a surprise there. Let's do it. we got a new little salt wife. Congratulations. Uh, Moya. Moya the Chase. She still has a little crown, does she? Yes. And <laughs> she still br she brings her boat with her, apparently. That's a bit weird. So there we go. I've currently kidnapped a queen. I could imagine the, the Arbor coming to get retribution. Queen Layla Tully. Now, she doesn't currently have any kids. So there's a possibility that, you know, she might die and it would go to one of the Lords of the Arbor after that. So that could be good. Um, if we have a baby maybe with, you know, the mother or her the sister of um, the Arbor, there's a chance we could push their claim. We're an ambitious man. So all these ideas sound great to me. We're taking our men back, so hopefully we can go in some more reaving, get some more prestige up. There's a lot of things that we still need to do. Ironborn longships cut through the water, swift and sure. Hence, we successfully pursued a small merchant fleet. He's going to have to attack. It, it's just who he is. The fleet was fairly well defended, a price well paid. She died of suspicious circumstances. Why am I being told of this? Huh. Her husband's that... Oh, uh, no, I don't remember if the most important character. Why, why do I care? Um, we could take these men... And go on a bit of a reaving. But I'm a bit worried now. Obviously that event where she came to attack reminded me that obviously people can attack me in a feud. It's been a long time since I've played as Ironborn. So it's fun to see how things have changed over the, the last maybe year or so. And don't give any chances to play as them. But someone can get, you know, retribution against us if they need to. We could just go down here. Now you're the Trident's men. And you're fighting against the rock. Yes, yeah, so you're protected by the trident, I assume. Grave Sam, yeah. So they might come in and help them. So I need to be careful. We don't want to get attacked by anyone. We still want a Valerian steel sword. I've still not been able to get one from the beginning. And obviously these guys could come to attack us. And with 9,000 men, he definitely would be inclined maybe to attack. So I do want to try and pick our attacks carefully. They've been raided recently. They've been raided recently. Um, Feast Fires has not been raided, but they haven't got much money there anyway. Yeah. There's a lot of money back, though. Your Fair Isle does have a lot of money. That's not too... You know what? Let's just go on some raiding anyway. Let's put on toggle to that. And we'll see what we can do. We'll just slowly go around and see what we come upon. If anything really pops out, like an, you know, a, a sword or a good concubine, like with the Arbor, for example... Um, we might take it over for wind has not come to my court. Okay. We'll take him over there. Okay, let's go. Get the money. 
So, what money do we have here? We've got a bit of money coming in. No one should really bother us right now. We get, we get a warning as well. We can escape fairly quickly. Let's jump back on the boats. Let's get this boat full up. So we can get all that prestige. Look at that. Basically nothing. You go back to Case? I think we should go back to Case. You know, let's go see Case again. Hey, Case, we're back. Um, hi. You decided to come back, so I'd say hi. Um, obviously, uh, Castle Rock would be a good choice. There's a lot of stuff there as well. He's going to go, okay, let's go to Castle Rock. Let's get some Lannisters. Let's get some Lannisters in us. Okay, we got the money yet? We got the money. Let's go. Go, go, go. Jump on the boats. Okay, we'll go to here then. I can't really see any men. Crack call. Red in. Nothing really to bother me right now. Anything interesting here? Weak claims. Black tide. Salt cliff. Um, nothing. Ooh, uh, a harlor. Black tide. Hmm. My heir. My kinsman. We could claim black tide for him. Interesting. Hmm. We'll become your vassal if one of the following are true. Um, are the same dynasty. So he should become my vassal. If one of the conditions are true, he is of the same dynasty. So he should become my vassal. Um, so we could go home and do that. Because force and vassalization will cost me prestige. So, yeah. When we declare war 250 prestige. So we don't have the prestige for that. We could definitely go get it next. Is that a weak claim or a strong claim? A weak claim. And that's because, yeah, yeah she's declared incapable. Um, yeah, she's just a girl, etc. The Firestones. We'll take it for the Harlors. We'll go back and do it. Once we've done a bit of raid and we get a bit of prestige up anyway. And what is this? We'd like to back our plot to kill Princess Moya. You want to kill my salt wife, do you? I decline, Mr. of the Rock. And obviously, they are fighting the Trident currently. Claim on the rock. The trident is winning. They'll come together. So I guess he'll have to escape. Probably down to the arbor with his wife. Um, horn veil. Look, a big horn veil always is. I always get surprised how big it is. Whose side are they on? Edmund's claim on the rock. They're actually on the side of the, the king of the trident. Oh, no. It's Dro oh, it's a rebellion. Oh, Drox. Okay, they're rebelling to put them in. And the Liddens are kind of one of the biggest major houses, yeah. So, I mean, yep, yeah, I can see why he's losing. There's not really much he can do there. Not really much he can do there. Have we got the money yet? Hey, we got the money. Let's go, go, go. Head on down. How much money do we have now, then? It's uh, starting to fill up. 41 gold. It's still not enough. Still not. We, we raided this before. Ooh, look at that. It's, but they're right there. But then again, they are right there. means they're not here. So that might be good then. It is a lot of money there. I wouldn't mind us not back to normal. I need to get back here. Wait, where did the sword go? Where did the sword go? Your son did not get it. Wait. I'm pretty sure he had it, didn't he? Oh, there we go. His heart's pain. There we go. So he currently has it right now. So we could go there. Now, can I take it from him if he's a kid? I wonder. I'm assuming you can. I'd think so. Okay, let's just travel down. Let's take on Crack Call for now. It's a good little place. So I, I can't really see if they're coming. Ooh, we could assault it. Let's assault it then. Let's just do that for fun. Um, we've been looted. Five gold have been destroyed. Okay, nothing really too much there. I want more gold, really. Take that gold. Go, go, go. Okay, Famous Rob proposes to compose your family chronicles. I think you'd give him patronage. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any reason why he wouldn't in particular. So we'll do that. We've got tons of gold these days. We've got more gold coming home. Let's just get out of it just in case they do come. Just in case. Don't want to stay for too long. Don't want to risk it. No point risking it. Okay, that guy's kind of done. There's not much gold here. Mm, the Mandeville, I think, is too strong to attack. It, there's some good places here, but they're, they're too... He's not strong himself, but these guys... 7,000 men for the high towers, I think could be a problem. I look at Dawn. Dawn has finally finished their wars. And the Illyrians are Roller worshippers. Well, after all these years of kind of falling behind the Martells, they've given in to a higher power. I guess you could say. 
try and find another way to get power. His heir do does not believe it. The Lord of Dawn is actually a Woodyard family. So yes, the Martells have lost control over Dawn right now. Um, it's fallen to this family, the Woodyards. Her grandfather, though, was a Martell. So that's why she's claimed it. Her father was also a Martell. But they had a matrilineal marriage. Yeah, so she's really more Martell. But yeah, it's a matrilineal marriage, so she's a Woodyard. Look at Liss. Look how well Liss is doing down the south there. So do we go down to here? How many men do they have? I guess we'll be fighting these guys. The Jordan, 700 men. We could definitely try and siege down this. 68 there, that's not too bad. She has 900 men. This place is basically on its own right now. It's got a pretty good amount of gold. Six, I think we should go down then to Summerfield, yeah. They control this and that little piece down there, but it's so small, it's uh, not really significant. Let's head down there. Obviously, these guys would be quite nice to attack as well. 4,000, though, might be a problem. Um, Sun Spear's pretty good. 1,000, 5,000 overall. We could probably get there. Trials bring rumors of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more. And this low-born girl in Mantarian, she now rides Mount Dweller into battle. There's so many dragons these days. Your ward, Janna, always follows the rules and refuses to cheat when playing games with the other children. Yeah, we'll let her have that. That means hopefully she won't be too much of a problem keeping in, a, in our prison cell. We won't pay the gold. If, if they're not going to pay the iron price, why would I... Well, no, wait. They're going to pay the, the summer, the green price, aren't they? Yeah, not not the iron price. They, they pay us gold. You know, I want my Jew. I want my iron Jew, I guess we'll say. What's like saying iron brew? One of my bannermen has, has behind my back started farming grain on his land after some particularly bad fishing hauls. Whilst his people are undoubtedly less hungry, the old ways dictate. We do not so. Hmm. What do we do? He's forced to stop his cultivation. The old ways are gone. Encourage it. Ignore. Well, I am a zealous man. So I, I think we do not so. I could gain wrath and I might gain arbit. Really? Gain arbit? Why would I gain arbitrary for that? Isn't like ignoring it more arbitrary? I don't know. Okay, I didn't gain anything, but that's fine. Get yeah, prestige is doing pretty well. Old Wick of a trial by combat. Eric Drum. I um, miss Captain King Pate Drum. Okay, so King Pate Drum proved his innocence by slaying his opponent Quellen. Okay, yeah, so Eric Drum was in jail by the king, and yeah, they're both drums, and so uh, Eric Drum managed to defeat. Uh, Quellen, and now he's come to me. Seeking shelter, hey? Your wife did not give any babies. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll harbor you for now. Not really sure what I could do with you. I don't really think there's much we can do with him. To be perfectly frank. Take all the gold. Take it all. We're losing men, though. I say, when we ask, these places could come and get retribution. So we do need to be careful. I would. Ooh, she's taken Sunspur for her own. Ooh, that could be dangerous then. So she's taken the seat of the Martells. The Martells have fallen hard these days. What about the Stoneway? 2,000 men. Quite a bit of gold there. Not too bad. We could also go over here, but then again, this has mostly been uh, raided, it looks like. Okay, seven gold there. For the Lingrave family. What do we have over here? Yeah, nothing too crazy. No I can't even really think of any swords that'd be around here. Unless we go to Dragonstone. And there's currently no men actually there, it looks like. But he has 13,000 men he can call upon. Uh, it's probably not worth it, is it? It's probably not worth the risk. Because they have a dragon, so... I don't think it's worth the risk. Let me check the swords once again. I think the Mormont probably is the best one to go for. You know? Let me check again. Kraus Pinzer, Disputed Lands as Truth, of course. The Brooms. Um, Heart's Bane is the one that I really want. Maybe it's finished by now. Maybe we can go back. The Stark's Dark Sister. Christopher Stark of the North has Dark Sister. Sever Stark wields Ice. The Starks have two, of course. Um, High Towers have two as well. Targaryens of Black Fire and Stranger's Mercy. They've got two. Gwell of Martlight Bears Lamentation. Dark Venom. Betrayal. Tumbleton. Orphan Making. The Strickland Lands. Silver Passion. Longclaw. 
Did he fall in in car hold? Oh yeah, it was all the way up north, wasn't it? Hmm. I could just go over here. There's not much money there, but there's only 600 men. We could probably take that. Is that done? It, it's not been fixed yet. We have to wait a little bit longer for that to get back to normal. How about maybe we try and go for our old sword truth? I feel bad going back to one of my former character's lands, but it could be good, you know? He's got 23,000 men these days. Ooh. 3,000 men just there. Yeah, maybe that's not a good idea. The pirates. Should we pay raid the pirates? <laughs> Anywhere here has good money in the pirate lands? No, of course not. 26. These lands aren't that great either, actually. Pentos. That's not the main Pentos. 200. 200. That's a lot of dosh. Hmm. Seems too risky. I'm not taking a risk. No one playing with one character each time. We can't take risks. We gotta be careful. We've learned that. Why don't we just go back around here? Start sieging down each island. Yeah. Let's just start sieging down each island, basically. Yeah. Let's go here. Take down each island. And then hopefully you can wait to see if Mandaford does recover. If not, we can take our money back and we can then get that land for my heir. Because we know he can get that land. Let's go. The islands will fall. And also we get to then see if they come. If they do come, we have time to get away. Um, she's a competent steward. Oh, that poor Hawthorn girl. She's just stuck in the dungeon for her whole life. Good money, though. Good money. If it ever does recover. I've forgotten how long it takes to recover. Um, they have pulled up their men. So we should be careful. I'm pleased to hear a period of peace and shrewd management. There we go. See, our lands prosper. No longer able to rule. And we've taken all that gold base. Let's go to this one then. Because they're moving out of it anyway. Might as well move in there myself. Just take this one as well. Pretty good amount of gold here. And there we go. Give it to me. Give me all that gold. And we come this way. Take the other one. Oh, they did raise those men. But it wasn't enough to stop us. Go to this one now. Take this gold. Hey, the drums are here. Hello, drums. Welcome, welcome. There's gold aplenty for all of us. I am born here in the Reach. Such plentiful land. Um, I hereby relinquish my position as queen in favor of Sir Martin Hornsby of Ryle Hill. So Layla the Arbor has been basically strong-armed into giving up her position in favor of Martin Hornsby. Okay, why him? Why? He's just of a small family. I don't see why they particularly chose him. There's no descendantry. I guess he was just a... He's not a... He's a dwarf! How did this go about? How did this kind of come about? Conquered as a claimant. Okay. Um, but interesting choice there. She could still get it back. She still controls the arbor. She sells a lot of men. She has high garden as well. He doesn't have that much support. I, I, I think we're going to see a bit more. And Manderford is back to normal. There we go. Perfect. So we'll take the money from here. How many men do they have? 48. 1,000. Okay, we can handle that. They're getting their men up. Is that just for us and the drums, yeah? Let's try and defend their lands. Get the money. Okay, let's head down to here. And there we go. 500 men. You could probably still... So we know it is here. We know you have it, little boy. I will take it. Is there actually any money here? There's a little bit of money. There's a little bit of money. We could probably assault it. Um, Trials of of Fire and Blood. Uh, Tassania. A lot of people from, like, uh, Valyria. Yeah, a lot of Valyrians seem to be taming just random dragons these days. It could be very... There's too many... Dra We've got to a point now in the world there's too many dragons. The Targaryens, because they haven't really ruled over vast lands. They seem to have lots of children. They've not really been assassinated as much, I feel like. I feel like I've been safer than having the Iron Throne, it feels like. And Lucery's Targaryen also tamed a dragon. Prumiax. More Targaryen dragons. Do I assault? Let me take him down a bit more. It's not We don't have times 10. So we should probably take him down a bit more. I don't think they have the numbers to really stop me. And, yep, yeah, look at that trident. 
We've not seen it like this for a long time. And obviously, they've actually grown. You know, the rock grew a little bit. Uh, the trident grew a little bit. So now it's all together. That is one big-ass monster. Whew. That's, like this, that's bigger than the, that's the same size or bigger than the north. I'm not sure, but it's big. King Tommen Tully, the uniter of the Tullys. And the arbor obviously now is not owned by a Tully, but there is a Tully with claims upon it. He does not have a claim, though. His wife's a Belmore. Only one daughter, though. Don't think we want to mess with them. Um, what's this? Cannot loot. We took all the money? Yeah. Uh, we, my sister had a baby, a bastard, with Lauren. Okay, the drowned man, of course. Of course. We should probably get my sister married. I always forget about her. I always forget about her. She's 20 now. We should probably get you married for an alliance. But who to? We want to take over the Ironborn lands. So if I do want to try and get an alliance, it has to be some, someone outside. But who would we ally with outside? The, the Reach, they're weak people. Easy to kind of defeat and take over. We need a true ally. The Tullys are strong. They're strong people. But his daughter's only zero years old. It's not a boy. He's got really no direct family to marry. Targaryens? He's got all daughters, and he's got a brother, but he's already married. They all kind of married the direct family. What about the Starks? Maybe they have a, a boy. A boy. A ranger betrothal. No. Difference. Okay, let's just click on her, then let's see what we could get. I would like to get a grand marriage for a good alliance, but I don't think we will. We may just have to choose someone from our vassals, possibly. I'm going to have to be the way we do it. Uh, match no, do we want matrilineal? We don't need matrilineal. Uh, the Royces. Whew, the, the Royces of Runestone would be willing to. I'm not sure it's going to work out. Um, Singing Stone. Nope, that's not going to be good. I think it's going to be a vassal. Ah, oh, Bur Burdock. Isn't that the guy I'm just sieging right now? I think it's going to be a vassal. Yeah. I think it's going to be one of our vassals. So we have the, the Merlins there. They have two places. She has no brothers, though. And that's controlled by me. Yeah, and that's controlled by her. Hmm. There's not really any places for her to marry, is there? Yeah. Maybe we'll just wait there. Maybe we get more powerful we can. If we become a king one day, maybe people then would love me. Okay. Carrying loot. Can we actually... Does it actually connect there? I'm assuming it does. Just make sure this will bring it to there. Um, my acquaintance, she has become a bit of a braggart. She's reasonably proud. No, she's not a true ironborn. Tell her pride grip of the fall. The, the drowned god will cure her, yes. Teach with the drowned god, I say. I think we could assault this. There we go. While sacking Poolbrook for all it's worth, we've come back, I say. <laughs> Could you imagine this? The man that came in, it killed many people in your family, um, and then he's come back one day, a few years later, looking for the sword once again, the sword he almost had but then was lost. I knew it was here. I knew you were hiding it. Yes, I shall pay the iron price for it. Uh, Gars Burdick has been found cowering in one of the towers and eagerly surrenders it to your will. He is made to kneel before you outside before your men and offers up hearts being to you in exchange for his life. There we go. We did get it. The sword that's rightfully mine. Poolbrook has fallen to our band. Do you want to take anyone? Barber Ball. Oh, it's a ball. Joanna Osgray. Hmm. I've already got three wives, but a ball could be nice. Nah, we're fine for now. Let's head home. We got it. A sword for our family. Heart's Bane. I don't know, I, I, it's maybe not the perfect sword for our family, but I, I feel it can fit in, you know, the fact we pierce the hearts of men. The fear they feel when they see Torwald with his heart's bane. Oh, he's in my dungeon. Um, To faith, teach him the faith. Yeah, we'll change his focus to faith because, you know, we want him to, to learn religion. You know, I'm a, I'm a religious man. Let him rot. If he pays the uh, the the price, then we'll release him, you know? We'll attack. And we'll head back. 
Not lots and lots of gold. Uh, 189. That's pretty good. That should give us enough prestige as well that we want. So let's head home. The fleet was fairly well defended. A price well paid. Yeah, our prestige should be good enough now. We have that claim as well. Thing. Oh, another one. We came home. 90. We get half the prestige of the gold that we had. Yeah. A recent influx of loot in... Of looted treasures encouraged buying an investment in Harlow Hill, which in turn attracted more warriors who are hungry for gold. Yes. Perfect. The price well paid. Okay, let's, let's delete these men. And delete the boats. So there we go. Our travels have been done. We, in our travels, we've proven as of only the age of 22. We've proven ourselves a true ironborn man. I have great salt wives to prove how great I am, and I have a lovely sword for my adventures. Ah, the drums are not the only ironborn with a Valerian steel sword they stole. You're not the only ones. I do too. And now I can make a, a boat, can't I? Yeah. I'd like to make a boat, but I think we do want to take this land first. 1,500 men. I've got 2,000. It's not that much. Could I force you to vassalize? 7,000 men. We're going to... Ooh, I do have a lot of gold, though. Yeah, we could buy a ton of mercenaries. Could I force vassalization? I can claim pike for other people, but I don't want to do that. I want it for me. The invasion. Prestige is greater or equal to 750. Hmm. That's a lot. And piety. We've almost got the piety. Yep, we still need a lot more prestige. I've... Yeah. To attack a kingdom. Imagine attacking the trident. <sighs> Could you imagine? Invasion of the rock. Yeah, 750 for basically a kingdom kind of title, I guess. Possibly. Maybe we could definitely take on the arbor. We could definitely take that on. Yeah, so an invasion of one of those we could definitely do. We can only probably do it once. It's uh, not likely to happen. I'd like to unite the ironborn if we can. So I would like to attack them if we can get the prestige. That's going to be a lot of raiding. So I think we should then attack them. Um, we'll build a ship first. We'll build a ship, then we'll attack. That's what I think. So that gives us time to get our men back. Gives us time to get more prestige, maybe, from constructing the flagship, hopefully, as well. Let's do it. You've ordered the construction of a new flagship for the Harlow fleet. I can't go to battle, yet I have a sword... And a book, but I need a boat to go with that. Uh, Master Gerald Greatiron is asking for your requirements so he can direct the shipbuilders of Harlow Hill. Well, guys, we're going to do. We're going to leave this for next time. So next time we're back, we're going to construct our own flagship for the Harlow family and go to war. So until then, I've been NG, and we'll see you then. Ta-ta.